But before we begin, I want you to ground yourself in the moment. So let's begin by taking a deep breath in and breathe out. And now I want you to follow my necklace as it moves side to side. Follow the necklace as it moves side to side, up and down, up and down. Continue to follow the necklace. You are grounding yourself. You are staying in the present by following the necklace. Don't worry about anything else. And now I'd like us to do one more visual exercise to plant ourselves and ground ourselves. And so I have these Shabbat candles. I want you to watch the flames. You can pick one and watch it. Or you can switch between the two. Either way, just pay attention to the flames how they flicker and move. It's impressive how hot a single flame can feel. And so I want you to imagine the warmth you can feel on your face from the candles. It's not too hot, it doesn't hurt, but it is an intense warmth that you can feel. And you feel like it cooler as it pulls away, warmer as it comes near you. You can see the heat and you can feel it. Cooler as it moves away, warmer as it moves towards you. And now we're going to move on to a body portion of the guided meditation. We're going to bring awareness to our bodies. Let's begin by taking a deep breath in and breathe out. Now for this next portion, you can stare into one spot or you can close your eyes. It might be easier to close your eyes, but it's up to you. I'm going to put the candles down and I will guide you through the body portion of the mindfulness meditation. Okay, whether your eyes are closed or you're focusing in one spot, I want you to bring attention to your hands. I want you to see if you can feel the bones inside your hands without touching each other. Can you just feel the bones inside your hands? It's an interesting sensation to try to feel. You can wiggle your fingers and hands a little bit. Can you feel the bones as you move your hands? Now what about the muscles and ligaments? 
that help your hands move? Can you feel those as you wiggle and move your hands? Can you feel them when your hands are still? Can you feel the skin on your hands? Can you feel it wrapped around your hands? Can you feel it as you move your fingers? What does it feel like to have hands? Bring awareness to your palms. What does it feel like to have palms? And then move up in segments. What does it feel like to have knuckles? To have the segments of the fingers that allow your fingers to bend? What does it feel like to have fingertips? And can you feel your nails on top of your hands? What do they feel like when you touch them? Sometimes bringing awareness to our bodies in such a way can cause anxiety. Or if you're dealing with any ailments, it can bring attention to that ailment. If it's too much to focus on your body, you can take your attention away. But if it's not too intense, you might want to be curious about the sensations you feel and the emotions that come up when you focus on your hands or any other part of your body. And now I want you to gently rub your hands together if you're able to make this gentle sound. What does it feel like to move your hands together? Do you like the sound it makes when you move your hands together? And now I want you to stop. Keep your hands together. Palms pressed into each other. Fingers pressed into each other and just feel the energy of your hands pressing into each other. Feel the gentle force and feel the way your fingertips are pressed against each other, your palms are pressed against each other, any gaps in between the parts of your hands that don't perfectly touch. And now we're going to bring our hands away and bring our awareness away from our hands. You can shake them out a bit. And let's take another deep breath in and breathe out. Now for this final portion of the guided meditation, I do want you to close your eyes. I ask you to do that if it feels comfortable for you. We're going to be envisioning a scenario of you walking down a hallway. I'm going to be describing sounds you may hear, and then you may hear those sounds, and there may be times where there's a lot of sounds happening, and it may feel a bit overwhelming. I want you to just stay in the moment if you're able to and know that those sounds will dissipate, they will go away, and you will feel relief if it feels a bit overwhelming. So I want you to imagine that it is evening and you are walking outside. You are calm and you are curious, but you're looking for shelter and you come across a house that looks somewhat inviting, but a little bit empty. You feel that you are welcome to go into the house, and so you enter. 
What does the house look like when you enter? What rooms can you see? I want you to imagine that you are walking through the house and you decide to go into one of the rooms. It could be a dining room. It could be a living room, a kitchen. I want you to be in that space and look around you. What is the layout of the room that you're in? How is it decorated? Do you like the way it's decorated? Find an object in the room and go to that object. Touch the object. What does it feel like? What color or colors is the object? And what kind of textures do you feel? Does it have multiple textures? Are they smooth, soft, hard, bumpy or gritty? Examine the object for a moment longer. And when you're ready, put the object back down or step back from it. And now you get a sense that there is somewhere in this house a room or some place that is meant for you. You're not exactly sure where it is, but you have an idea of where to go. So you find a staircase and you go up to the next floor. And then when you get to the floor, you see that there is a long, dark hallway. It's hard to tell how long it is. In some ways, it looks very long, but at the same time, you can see a doorway at the end of the hallway, and you can see that there's light slipping out through the crack in the door. And you can tell that that is meant for you. Whatever is behind that door, it's inviting, it's comforting, and you're meant to go there. So you start to walk down the dark hallway. And as you're walking, you can still hear my voice guiding you, but it's overlaid. It's but it's repeating overlaid. itself at a delay. It's repeating so you itself can hear my at voice. a delay. So and you can hear my voice. Of it's my starting voice. to get busier and busier. And it's starting to get busier and busier. And as you walk further hallway, there's more and more overlays of my voice. There's more and more there's more and more of my voice. Of my voice. Times, it may feel a bit overlaid. It feels comforting. But in other ways, it feels comforting. Continue to continue walk. to walk. The hallway, the hallway is, dark, is dark, but you feel like but you're you feel like you're right going direction. Direction. There's so much noise. My voice is continuing. My voice is continuing. All that noise. There's so it's much. There's so much noise. And all of that and noise. All of that is noise. Just like, it's just like all of the noise. All of the noise in your life. You know, you and just, you know if you can just get to the end of the, the end of the hallway and get rid of all that noise, you can find that relief. Find that relief. Find that relief. Get rid of all that noise. And you can all just and you can all just be one voice. One voice. Again, and it can be your and voice. Can be and so you know that so you just know have to keep walking down the hallway. Even though there's a lot of noise, there's a lot of voices. There's just different words, different thoughts, and thoughts. Being shared being at once. Shared being shared at once. You can totally feel like you're walking down the hallway. It's your own mind. 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 It's your own mind. It's your own mind. You think that you're walking down the hallway. 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 You
you're stress, stress, and you're stressed, and you know you can, get, know to you can get to relief, and you keep walking, and you keep walking, starting to keep get walking, busier, keep walking, and keep walking, and you keep walking, and it's okay, it's okay, the voices, the voices, the voices over are constant, are constant, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay that there's noise, and then, and then, get to and then you get to the you door, get to the door, and you touch the handle, and you touch the handle, and the voices stop, and the voices stop. Now that all the sounds have stopped, you feel a sense of relief. You feel that you've made it past all of the noise and all of the distractions and all of the busyness of the day, of the week, of your thoughts and feelings. And you feel relieved and at ease. You can finally take a breath. You feel the cool handle of the door on your hand and you open it you open the door and you walk into the bright light that you see and you find that you are in a room that was made just for you. It is your room and you feel comfortable. It was designed just for you. Everything is in a place where you would want it to be. and it's quiet and calm and you've already forgotten about all the voices and noise. How does it feel to be in the room that is made for you? What does the room look like? How is it decorated? What is it about this room that makes it feel like it was just made for you? I want you to take the feeling of the room in, really savor it, really be aware of it. And then we will get ready to return to the present. And so we'll take a deep breath. And when we breathe out, I want you to open your eyes and return to the present. So take a deep breath in. And breathe out. And now return to the present. Wiggle your fingers and your body if you would like to. Blink. Notice what's around you. Notice how your body feels after that exercise. And now you've returned to the present. Watch my fingers. Listen to the sound. I'm pulling the imagination away from you so that we can return to the present. Return to the present. And now we're back. I hope that this was helpful for you or interesting. I'm curious to see how you feel about the sounds and how it felt afterwards when everything was quiet again. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, Toda Rabah, Laila Tov. Thank you very much and good night.